As we approach the end of 2022, we're looking back on some of the most memorable moments from this year. Yeah, some of them we can't forget. It includes highs and lows in the world of politics. Our political editor Mark Maxwell is here with that look back. Mark. Brent and Ann, the political beat captivated us all year long, rapidly shifting our focus from Congress to the campaign trail, from state houses to courthouses. Here's a look back at the top 10 political moments just as you watch them unfold this year. The voters have made their decision. Recreational marijuana will soon be legal in Missouri after Amendment 3 passed with 53.1%. Republican officials are reeling in St. Louis County after their pick to challenge Sam Page stumbled Tuesday night. A lot of people scratching their heads. Party officials considered House Republican Shamed Dogan a shoe in but he lost to a virtually unknown candidate with a dormant campaign. Dogan was stunned and disappointed he lost. Pinner called and dropped out last night. Dogan declined to jump back in, though, throwing his weight instead behind Manavani now. Bipartisan progress on passing gun safety laws. Missouri Senator Roy Blunt also helping to craft the country's first major gun law in the 21st century. Governor Parson signed a new tax cut plan into law. From 5.2 down to 4.95 percent. Corruption charges inside St. Louis County government. County Executive Sam Page fired his close ally Tony Weaver today after federal prosecutors charged him with four counts of fraud. Do you regret what you did? Yeah, no problem. A sex tape shaking up St. Louis County government. I asked Cal what was up. He told me there was a video and he would be resigning. Donald Trump has endorsed a Republican running for the Senate in Missouri. It's a tie. It appears the former president cannot decide between endorsing Eric Reitens or Eric Schmidt. Eric Schmidt, Missouri's attorney general, will go to the U.S. Senate. The second candidate to catapult from that office to the U.S. Senate. An alderman who suddenly resigned is under federal investigation. John Collins Muhammad drove away from the federal courthouse in downtown St. Louis after pleading guilty to corruption charges. Three former St. Louis aldermen are headed to federal prison following an undercover sting. He made a mistake. He owned it. Megan Green's rise to power comes after a corruption scandal rocked City Hall. The feds dropped the hammer on the velvet hammer, indicting Mike Madigan, the most powerful politician in Illinois for decades and the longest serving longest tenured House Speaker in American history. The House Committee investigating the January 6th attack on the Capitol referred criminal charges against former President Donald Trump. Breaking news at noon, the Supreme Court overturns the Roe versus Wade precedent. That means there are no longer constitutional protections for abortion that had been in place for almost 50 years. What a whirlwind of a year it was in politics. Our political analyst, Anita Mannion, joins me one final time this year, Thursday, to break down each of these top 10 moments going behind the scenes. You can watch that on the record at 3 o'clock Thursday afternoon on the 5 Plus app. That's available right now on Amazon Fire TV or the Roku app.